Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jude Lad and we are back with some Magic the Gathering. It's been a while since I made a deck. Uh, I felt like I kind of needed a break on making decks. It's I, I was kind of running out of ideas. So I took a little bit of a kind of a week's break of deck building. But I am back. I am stronger. Well, maybe not stronger, but I have an idea. I have an Explore a Mass deck. It revolves around Bolas Citadel. Now, Bolas Citadel is kind of a interesting card where it's like, oh yes, well you can look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library at any time. If you cast the spell that way, you pay life equal to the converted mana cost. And you can sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and each opponent loses 10 health. Now, the point of this deck is to uh, obviously try and win beforehand, but Bola Citadel plus Path of Discovery is kind of a victory condition for us. I should have more Path of Discovery, but I don't have the cards. But, so the idea is, we cast Bola Citadel with like one or two Path of Discovery out, plus Wild Growth Walkers. Now that means that every time we play a creature, it explores once or twice, maybe even three times if we get like a Merfolk Branch Walker. Um, and it's like, we just heal from the Wild Growth Walkers. The Wild Growth Walkers just heal us every time we use Bola Citadel and spend health to cast spells. And that's kind of the idea. We just heal with Bo with uh, with the Wild Growth Walkers while casting with Bola Citadel. And that's like kind of an infinite cycle of bullshit. Um, that's kind of the idea of, the, of this. Now, um, we don't have that many spells. We have some Dreadhorde Invasion because I realized... Or I wanted to try to try this because Path of, Path of Discovery says whenever a creature enters the battlefield. I think that counts as a mass as well. So we can use these as early jumps, but we can also use them for to activate Path of Discovery with the Wild Growth Walkers. That's kind of what I'm planning. I have not had time to try this, so I don't know if this works. But we'll see. But that is the idea. Let's get to it immediately. Now, explore a mass deck. Go. So, for those of you who haven't seen already, I put up some um, some uh, highlights from uh, from my Bloodborne streams. Um, if you do like Bloodborne, if you do like uh, s like to see me talk just about basically anything and uh, just play a game, come join at twitch.tv slash utilad. Now, let's get to this. I think this is kind of a good starter hand. We have Nightmare's Thirst to handle some some sort of early aggro, especially with Bond of Flourishing. I think if they play like a three or four health creature, we can just cast the Bond of Flourishing and then Nightmare's Thirst to kill off that early creature. That's kind of a good combo. Then we also have Wild Growth Walkers and uh, a Jade Light Ranger um, to combo in with. And we got the Bolo Siddle, so that's very nice. Oh crap, wait. We need a forest. Hmm. This might be bad. Hopefully it plays something. Play a creature. Put like theme. Eh. Is it worth using Nightmare's Thirst? Kind of almost think so. Like these are actually kind of a pain in the ass when they trade with something that has two health. Or we could just play the Dreadhorde Invasion. But at the same time, the Dreadhorde Invasion is kind of a dangerous play. Um, like, losing health every turn can be dangerous. But I kind of like it. And that also saves us on the Bond of Flourishing and uh, Nightmare's Thirst combo. So I think this might be a good idea. We attack with the Wild Growth Walker. He's not going to block with the Footlight Fiend, I'm assuming. Um, and we get just one tiny bit of damage. Is a bueno. Now the worst thing that Footlight Fiends can face are actually like one health creatures. Because it's like, oh well, they, they'll just block and uh, you'll just have to, have to accept that. I think this is good. This is actually really good. Now we can next turn cast Bond of Flourishing and kill uh, Judith. And Judith is actually kind of important to this kind of aggro deck, I think. So let's do that. Boom. On the flourishing, we only got a forest, but it's better than nothing. Um, and then we do this. Nightmare's Thirst. Boom. 
Oh no, is he going to kill my token? No! How cruel. Let's attack with the wild growth walker. Let's try to get that early damage in. You know? Um, but I feel like this deck is kind of okay. Like, obviously, the wild growth walkers and explorer is just a pure strong combo. Basically, every green deck should have that in some sort of sense. Um, I personally think like it is such a strong combo that it's always worth having. Mm -hmm. Do we want to do the Jade Light Ranger or do we want to save it? I am thinking that maybe we save the Jade Light Ranger for another Wild Growth Walker. Because like, we'll probably pull one and if we don't we have Bolus Citadel to do that for us. So I think this is kind of a legit plan. And we have the 1-1 uh, boy to uh, block the machine of Pyromancer. This is just yeah, be this is such an you. aggressive deck that he's playing. But it feels good. Like, we have the... Uh, we have control right now. And that feels okay. Oh, well, we might as well kill it. Right? Like, yeah, he'll deal one damage, but it's better to get it off the board entirely. Hmm. Path of Discovery. Now that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. I do like Path of Discovery, like it's such a strong card. And now we get to try it with the Dread Horde Invasion, hopefully. Which feels good. Because I think that will work. I, I do actually think that will work. Burn. Midnight Reaper. Interesting. Um, feels weird. Like I feel like this should be a way more aggressive deck. And like the Midnight Reaper was kind of like, hmm, well, you want some sort of card draw, I guess, but... That one felt weird. Oh, we might as well kill the 2 1. Boom. Let's do the path of discovery. I feel like we can be a bit greedy right now. Because as long as we don't play Bolas Citadel, we don't have to use any sort of like health drain. Um, and What's we'll just uh, play the Ravenous Chubacabra oh, next turn, kill the Midnight burning. Reaper, so he doesn't get to pull that many cards from us, like, blocking and stuff. Um, might as well block here just to save some health. And then next turn we use the Ravenous Chubacabra to kill the Midnight Reaper. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it does work. Oh my god. That is actually sick. I do love that. That is actually a really cool combo. Um, let's do this to kill off the Midnight Reaper and then hit Chandra once. I think that's the play here. Well, we can't hit Chandra actually, which kind of sucks. But we can kill off the Midnight Reaper. Um, make sure that it doesn't get too much card draw. Plus we're like going through our land really quickly, which is, I feel like, quite important. I think we want to do this as well. We, we we need to take control of the board right now. Like, we're getting a bit low on health. He can use Chandra as a minus 7 as well. And that would actually, like, it could hurt a lot. Um, let's send that to the graveyard, actually. Um, I think we keep that. Like, I'm a bit afraid um, of him just outright killing us. He could very easily do Let's that. Light it up. Wow, that surprised me. Oh. I was entirely sure he was going to use the minus seven. Try to get, like, um, uh, skewered critics. Like, two of them would, like, screw me up, like, severely. It would have been bad, man. Kill up on those. Hmm. 
we do need to get um, one of our nice little... Uh, let's actually throw that to the, to the graveyard, I think. We need to try and get some sort of uh, healing. Maybe we... I think we risk it at this point. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. Um... Well, I guess we'll just, um, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> that was like the worst outcome. Like literally any card could have been useful and we got Bola Citadel. Like really, really. I'm, I'm just dead now. He can use Chandra and kill me. God damn, fucking Bola Citadel. Two of them. Ah, uh, fuck. That was so bad. God freaking damn it. Okay. Let's get into uh let's get into the next game. Like I feel like you kind of have to get this going. Obviously I am notoriously known for either being too greedy or not pulling like the things that I need usually. This is actually kinda good. I'm usually too greedy, let's be honest. I'm just I'm just blaming mechanics of the game right now. I am usually too greedy. Ooh, Wild Growth Walker. Now I, I do approve of that. Uh, well, good game to you as well, I guess. Reef Nook. Let's see what this is. It's a Golgari deck. So let's expect that he will murder this Wild Growth Walker. That could actually be a really cool thing with Bola Citadel. Maybe just exchanging, like, I think, like, the Ravenous Chubacabras with this would be kind of legit. That could be a thing. Um, let's keep him there on some sort of removal after all. I think this is actually kind of a cool tech card. Could be useful with uh, uh, Bola Citadel. Only if you have, like... Like, you don't want many of these. Like, maybe two. Maybe even one. Like, one is, like, a bit too low, but it could be... Could be legit. Mm, we need a heal. After that, we can kill the Jade Light. Uh, the Jade Light Ranger. What is this? This is the Woodland Cemetery and the Doom Whisper got thrown away. That's feels good. So the zero the scorpion. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, go. Wild Growth Walker. Oh, I guess that's fine. Enter. This is going a lot better, but I feel like we are in for some sort of big surprise. That's why I'm saving the Ravenous Chubacabra. Ooh. Well, that's smooth. This could actually be kind of legit to um, to add in this deck as well, just to make sure that we don't accidentally run out of threats. Ooh, that's great, actually. So now we get the heal off, we can use the... Uh, ooh. Enter the unknown. Sure, it's another explorer, so our wild growth walker will become stronger. I feel like that's okay. Let's go. Damn. Well, I feel like that kind of turned out well. We did not really get to see the combo. Like, we almost had the combo in that first game. But you kind of get the idea of it. And I think that's the most important thing. Now, if you like the deck, obviously like the video, but... Also, comment down below what you what kind of changes you would make to the deck. Like, I think there is a lot of things you could do with this deck that is, like, kind of legit, but at the same time, um, like, it's up to personal preference, I guess. 
Uh, I think there is a lot of those kinds of things with this deck. Obviously, the MS is kind of a choice for me. I kind of like the MS because you can heal yourself a lot with that. Plus, it's kind of interesting that you can use it as an explore mechanic, the Dread Horde Invasion. Um, but yeah. Just uh, remember to subscribe for more videos. And uh, as mentioned before, comment down below what you want to see next and what you think of this deck. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.